principles of the unification of nature and spirituality. Hmm. This is this is an ideal example of why great Muni Rishi yogis preferred to be in the forest, in mountain, surrounded by the embrace of Mother Nature, surrounded by the trees, fresh wind, feeling into them, be careful. Careful. So, feeling into into the lap of Mother Nature, smelling, feeling into the embrace of Mother Nature. It is so soothing and peace making. our lives which seek spirituality, the lives which truly be seeking higher spirituality, so higher, finer, more aesthetic, aesthetic type of spiritual experience. This kind of place is considered very ideal. Hmm sitting on this stone, sitting on the top of a hill, surrounded by Nemo trees and other trees. And you know, while sometimes the wind, natural wind passes through, some trees like Nemo, Bela, Tulashi, Amlaki, then even the air is also considered, the air, wind passing through them, also considered, uh, becomes specially, I mean, specially affected, affected in a more positive, holy way, carrying some subtle vibrations, carrying some subtle effects of those herbs, of those beautiful trees, to the air, which we breathe in, breathe out. We breathe in and breathe out the herbal, medicinal airs. Okay, while we are inhaling, while we are, while, while we are in breathing, breathing in the very pranic energy from that air. I repeat, while we engage in breathing in there's some subtle pranic energy in the form of oxygen from those air, not only absorbing, absorbing the pranic energy like oxygen, but also some effects of the herbal trees, leaves, Okay, also present in the air passing through which you are breathing in. You considered the medicinal air to inhale in, to in to in breathe and out breathe. Hmm. Freshening, refreshing. Hmm. As we know. The sea bridge, sea wind is good for lungs. Sea bridge is very good for, to, to breathe in for lungs. Similar way, while the wind passing through Nemo tree, Belo tree, other, other trees and leaves, which contains certain you know, Ayurvedic medicinal effects, also good to breathe in, 
effect is very subtle, but it works. It works in our being. It works in our existence in a subtle way. Just as the magnetic force, magnetic power are existent in the ether, in the air and ether, subtle medicinal, subtle herbal or medicinal effects also existent and there subtle med magnetic medicinal potency okay, also existing in the air of such place, hmm, such places. Then besides that we know why, why great Muni, Rishi, Yogis, saintly, saintly persons in the ancient age used to be choosing mountain, mountain cave, okay, forest to live in, to, to do living, living together. Instead of living together, instead of man and woman living together, they used to be living together with the nature. <laughs> All through their life. Getting married with the nature, natural surroundings, living together with the mother nature, with the natural environment. And they felt soothed, felt it was more convenient, very favorable, congenial to build up spirituality, to build up spiritual health. In other words, so congenial for spiritual health care. Hmm. Away, living away from any artificial civilization and culture of living. Hmm. As soon as we go out of this area, it is so hot, so hot, okay, scorching sun overhead. We don't feel so good about. But with the same scorching sun and scorching heat just outside this area, when we are sitting here, Sitting here, we don't feel that. Okay, we feel, feel about this place, feel under this shade, so cool, and soothed, so peaceful. Mm. Being based on the lap of Mother Nature, sitting on the lap of Mother Nature. Mm. while experiencing into some soothing effect, effect of peace and natural caressing done by the Mother Nature. Mm. Anyway, it so happened to be, we are now under Nemo tree, in the embrace of many Nemo trees, Feeling, let us feel into the blessings of Nimai, of the Supreme Lord Nimai, God Nimai, who was also born under Nima tree, with whom all the entities, existence of the Nima trees are closely related with. In other words, with whom? All the Nemo trees are very closely related with Nimai Pandit and also Jagannath Dev, Lord Jagannath. Lord Jagannath Deity, Lord Jagannath Consciousness, in other words, Krishna Consciousness, also so closely related with Nemo tree, Nemo leaf. Eating Nima, eating some Nima Shukta, Shukta made of Nima leaves. Mm. And according to Ayurveda, 
living with and under Nemo tree for months. Very, very beneficial for our biological health. Biolog biological health, mental health, also spiritual health. Because it has got such, it has got so much and such natural, natural disinfective potency, Nemo. There are, we find there are several medicines in Ayurveda made up, Nemo plant, Nemo leaves, Nemo fruits, Nemo oil also, you know, Nemo oil is contributing a great in the field of The field of being becoming a natural pesticide. It works as a very natural pesticide. Instead of spraying other poisonous chemicals on the, you know, on the vegetables and other fruits, if we simply be spreading, simply be uh, spraying the neem oil, it is so disinfective, killing the germs and bacteria at the same time. It keeps, keeps those fruits and vegetables so healthy because it's not poisonous chemical. It is not a poisonous pesticide. See. So therefore, living, living with, living under Nemo tree and while drinking some Nemo juice, eating some Shukta, made of Nemo leaves are very healthy for the body and mind, for a sattvic body and mind also. Of course, within the limit of a dosage, maintaining the proper dosage, not eating Nemo, Nemo leaves excessive way, then it may work other way around because it makes our body, mind so hot. Hmm. So, encouraging the pitta, bilary substance in our body so much, Nemo. It's good in the cold atmosphere, take Nemo. Hmm. So, back to the point. The Nemo trees, Nemo leaves, all closely related with Lord Jagannath. Also, Baladev, Subhadra, in relation to Jagannath, to also to Lord Mahaprabhu, Lord Nimai Pandita. Hmm. And, you know, in Navadip Dham, many of the deities of beautiful Mahaprabhu made up Nima woods. Nima woods. And this wood has got such criteria and characteristic. No germ can attack. No bacteria, germ can eat it up, eat away. How do you call in English? Yeah. Certain kind of term, not termites, which eats and it makes the wood dust and dust falls. What is called in English? Charbatoj in check. How is called in English? Woodworm. 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 Very fine type of woodworm. Small, small kind of woodworm. How do you say? Charbakat? Charbatoch. 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 I like that name. In Czech. It means worm that is spinning. Mm. <laughs> Charbatoch. So this Charbatoch. So Nima wood can hardly be attacked by Charbatoch. Because taste bitter and it has some worm repellent, worm repelling, you know, characters in it. You don't like to live. Hmm. Hmm. Lord Chaitanya might have come over here. Some of the Nemo trees may have some inheritance 
from their parents, which are parents are great, 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 grand, great, grand, great, grand, great parents in this place, could be. So we are now associated with some of the offspring, heritage of some, okay, some of those Nemo trees, great, grand, great, grand, grand, great, great, grand. Parents. Hmm. And I can actually found it. It's called Borm Ho. Borm Ho. Borm Ho who is doing holes. Ho. Yes, yes, small holes. See, it, it, it creates small holes everywhere. It, it's very small, small, small. And it eats, eats up everything from inside. Makes everything hollow from inside. No. Then the structure breaks down. Good example. Sometimes there are many things in our life also happening like that. Many worms of our, see, many worms of our karma, okay, like wormholes and termites of our wrong sentiments, wrong mental temperaments, habits biological or mental habits makes us empty from inside. They continue to be eating us up. Eating up our essence from inside and makes us empty and hollow. Okay, from inside without substance. So we have to take education. We can take some education from these wormholes or worm worm bacteria, how do you say? Wood worms. Take some teachings from the wood worms. Mm. We cannot be allowing some wood worms of wrong emotionalism, wrong mental, wrong mentality, wrong temperament, wrong habits of life which will make us make us empty and desolate, hollow from inside. While we, we, are, we continue to be living a very tamosic and passionate life, then it happens like that. Mm. The wood worms, worms of the passion, worms of the mode of ignorance of life, eat us up <coughs> and leaves us hollow, empty. We should not let it happen with our lives. Hmm. The sickness created by those worms of wrong emotionalism, wrong mental temperament, wrong attitude should be rejected summarily rejected in order to embrace the positive solid positive solid truth positive and solidly beneficial truth good in our life healthy truth in our life fill ourselves Simply fill ourselves in, fill ourselves up with the healthy truths in our life, rejecting all the unhealthy sicknesses. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is amazing, so wonderful to feel. Just go out of this scorching heat, hot atmosphere. As we come inside, under the shade of the trees, under the shelter, said, so cooling and soothing. Mm. And great Muni Rishi yogis composed many beautiful hymns. What we find? To the Vedic literatures, holy Vedic scriptures, many of the beautiful hymns 
in the Vedas, some of the Vedanta Upanishads, all created, all born in such atmosphere, born through, through such situation, such atmosphere, directly connecting to the God through universal energy, to soothing cosmic energy, soothing universal energy, while being surrounded by beautiful trees and refreshing winds, full of pranic energy, feeling into the space and sky, feeling into, feeling into the great cooperation between space and time. You know, both are made of similar concept, space and time. You know, time, time to be understood through feelings and space can also be understood through feelings and visualization. But the space and time, both are made of similar concept. If there is no space, there will be no time concept. If there is no time concept, there will be no space. And if there is no consciousness, there is no time, no space. If the perceiver, conceiver in the form of we, I, or am not here, there will be no concept of time and space also. Because time and space, concept of time and space actually exists in the direct experience of our conscious being, in our consciousness. If there is no consciousness, also there is no, in reality there is no time and space. So therefore great knowledgeable, wise persons say, actually, you know, they also, uh, a great amount, great quantity and quality of our, of the conception or experience of time, space actually emanates from our consciousness. From our consciousness, it is projected through and from our consciousness, especially time and space. Hmm. Yes, quantum physics also discovering discovering that freshly, which, have, which has already been discovered, experienced thousands of years ago by Muni Rishi yogis. Hmm. So, finally, they are all, all the space-time is finally withdrawn, absorbed, withdrawn into our consciousness. You know, it is already stated in the scripture. Mm. So, see, the external things, external matters, external objective worlds at some point is diluted in this space and diluted within the faculty of our perception, Dilu diluted a dissolve within our you know, activity of perception, just perception. So they are, in other words, they are dissolved within our senses or perception. Then our all sense experience are dissolved or withdrawn within our conscience in that way. That is dissolved, withdrawn into our ahankar. Mahatattva, in this way, how things are withdrawn into another and another and another, and then re-manifesting. Manifesting back is beautifully described in scripture. Mahatu ahankara ahankara chpanchatan matra. In this way. Indriyani paranyahu, indriyabha parangamana, 
मनसस्तु परा बुद्धि बुद्धि यह परतस्तु सह बुद्धि आत्मा महान पर डिफरेंट डायनामिक्स डिफरेंट डायमेंशंस इन आवर बीइंग हैव बीन डिस्क्राइब्ड वंडरफुली इन श्रीमद् भगवत गीता फाइनली एवरीथिंग is withdrawn into atma atma consciousness still atma is not directly involved although it is carrying some karma with it jivatma carrying some karma with it but still it is not directly bound or directly involved with the karmic effects like like the way the air flowing air or wind can carry dust can carry some dust and many things but the real air is never involved directly involved with those dust or which is being carried by in sunlight we can find in sun ray so many dust and everything getting they are floating and living sometimes we can see while some sun ray or if we focus the torch in the dark room we can see so many dust are floating we are inhaling every time in breath breathing in and breathing out and see in the rays of the light isn't it hmm so they are all floating in the air in the space but the air or space never get involved with them although they are working as carrier hmm. vehicle hmm. many frequencies many frequencies are moving through see so many light frequencies sound frequencies thought frequencies you know passing through swimming through the ether ethereal medium but still they are independent of each other although ether becoming their carrier the similar way yatha navashime ghor ghor यथा नभसी में घो घो रेणु पार्थिव नीले जस्ट एस क्लाउड्स आर फ्लोटिंग इन द स्पेस बट स्पेस नेवर गेट्स इन्वॉल्व विद द क्लाउड्स फ्लोटिंग इन द स्पेस जस्ट एस द डस्ट आर फ्लोटिंग इन द एयर पर एस एयर इज नॉट डायरेक्टली इन्वॉल्व विद द डस्ट ए सिमिलर वे ऑल दो आत्मा इज बिकमिंग व्हीकल और कैरियर ऑफ many karmas karmic effects in, in in lives after lives but still by quality atma never gets by quality and nature atma never gets directly involved involved with the karma and all hmm hmm so back to the point So our higher spiritual science, Vigyano, Adhyatma Vigyano, Adhyatma Pragyano also spoke of it. Much of our external experiences, external perception, okay, of the things outside, are none other than. internal projection our own internal projection it is not said that all of it is not that whole objective existence is the projection of our internal existence scriptures do not really mean to say like that but the way it says much a lot of our external experiences extroverted experiences external perception objective perceptions are none other than the very fine type of projection projection of our internal perception internal experiences and today quantum physics also admitting recognizing the same truth you know hmm so mystical mysteriously wonderful realities mysteriously 
divine wonderful realities are divinely divinely mysterious wonderful realities <coughs> they are divinely mystical divinely wonderful divinely mysterious energy of krishna working within and without in and out us Mm. We are living with it. Still, as we are not fully conscious of it, even though we are living with it, still, as we are not fully conscious of that due to some illusory effect of Mahamaya energy, therefore, we cannot directly feel or conceive of it. But we can definitely feel and conceive of it through our, through the wisdom of our consciousness. Yes, it is there. We are living with Krishna's energy every moment in our life. Just as we can, just as we can feel now, we can conceive now through this explanation and discussion. Yes. This is all nothing but Krishna's energy. These are all nothing. The whole surrounding, these are all nothing. Lord Krishna's aspects of energies. What we are living in and living with. In and out. As we, as we consciously, I repeat, as we consciously try to feel into it, at some point we will be feeling Definitely be feeling into it, not through thought process, but through meditation. Through devoted meditation, we can feel into it. our direct connection with our Krishna's energy around us, living with us, with which we are living with. Okay. Every moment, our life is absorbing that. We are living with it, within it. We can understand, feel into that. Hmm. Gaur Hari Bol. Nitai Gaur Hari Bol. I see some of you. I can see in, feel in some of you, feeling tired, not so interested. Not so interested to hear in. No, it's okay. When we'll go. Hmm. Being casual. Some of you being a bit casual. Why? When we become casual, we miss many things. Especially the subtle realizations. Hmm. And when we train us ourselves properly, even during sleeping, we can have very wonderful dreams. Well, we may not be casual even while sleeping. <laughs> mm. All right. Let us stand up and go.